My name's Rebecca Gash, I'm a first contact dietitian working in Chester. I see a variety of patients in the primary care setting. These range from patients with functional bowel disorder, diabetes, frailty or requiring support with weight loss. I see patients referred from other clinicians working in primary care or they can be directed straight from reception to me. Patients that would usually be booked in with a GP or another clinician could come straight to me instead. Hi Steph, it's lovely to meet you today. So my name's Rebecca, I'm the first contact dietitian who will be seeing you. And how can I help? Hi, um, so a good example of this is patients phoning up with gastrointestinal issues. For example, a change in bowel habit, they can come to see me in clinic and I have the right uh, skills, knowledge and experience to be able to diagnose their condition, rule out any red flags, send off for any scans, blood tests that they may need and then treat appropriately. Has anyone else in your family suffered with anything like this before? No. Okay. Have you had any previous tests or anything? No. No, okay. So what I would like to do today is I'll order some blood tests for you, but I'll also have a feel if you tell me if that's okay. First contact dietitians do need to be at the top of their clinical scope of practice. Uh, this is because we see undifferentiated and undiagnosed patients in primary care. So we need to have the appropriate skills, knowledge and experience to be able to see these patients at a first point of contact, diagnose and treat them and also be able to critically analyse uh, their decisions and the evidence behind these. I'm just going to have a little feel now for you, OK? Have you had any breakfast this morning? Uh, no. OK. So what I'm looking for is just if there is any um, discomfort, any involuntary guarding or anything like that. I qualified in 2013. So I had more than the five years experience that's recommended by Health Education England before you move into a first contact dietitian role. I've also done some master's modules along the way, so I did non-medical prescribing in 2020 and although this isn't essential to become a first contact dietitian, it did give me a taste of working at a master's level clinically. So I didn't feel anything untoward there, so what we're going to do is I'm going to order a set of blood tests, I'm going to screen you for something called celiac disease. I thought it was a fantastic opportunity for dietitians to be working slightly differently and to support the ever-growing pressures in primary care and the NHS in general. I found the career progression for this and the extended skills that we could learn really exciting. Okay.